Hi and welcome to Elements channel. Thank you for liking and subscribing. It's immensely glad to see our community growing. Thank you for showering all the love once again. Today we're going to look into subtracting fractions. Last time I had used an another method. This time I'm going to show a different method. So any method that suits you best is what you can use for subtraction. Let's start our video for today. The first question reads is 2 5 6 minus 1 5 12. Here what we're going to do is as we see I have my two holes and one holes. The fraction we see is 5 6 and 5 12. So as my denominator is 12 I will try to make this as well 12. So we know 6 times 2 is 12. And 5 times 2 is 10. So let me write this as I solve the equation. 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 2 is 12. Right? We are meeting the denominator. Minus 1 whole 5, 12. Now I'm going to individually see my 2 holes and 1 holes. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 10 minus 5. Now I'm looking at the fraction. Okay. First I dealt with only holes because I'm subtracting. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 10 minus 5. Now I'm dealing with subtraction. 10 minus 5 is 5 and my 12. So this is how I can subtract in an another shortcut way or maybe an another method I can put it forth. Okay. Let's go to the next question now. In my next question, question says 5 2 5th minus 3 3 10th. Again, the same thing I will do here is note down my highest denominator. My highest denominator that I see is 10. Therefore, 5 times 2 is 10. We know that. And 2 times 2 is going to be 4. The number that I multiply my denominator with, is the same number I multiply my numerator with. Let's deal with the holes again. So 5 is going to be the way it is. I will solve it. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 times 2 is 10. Minus the 3 holes. And 3 tenths I will write it the way it is. Okay. Now I will take my holes. I will deal first is with my holes. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Let's deal with the fractions now all alone. 4 minus 3 is 1 and 2 10. So this is how I got my answer for the second one. Let's look into the third question. The third question says 4 and half Minus 2, 5, 8. Okay. Here we are going to give a keen eye. Why? Let's look into that. As I solve, I will guide. I have my holes as 4 and 2. My denominator, the first thing I will suffice is my denominator. So 2 times 4 is 8. Now I have met the need. Same number I multiply up as well. Let me... Open the equation. So 4, 4 over 8 minus 2, 5 over 8. Now, before I deal with the holes, I have to look into the fractions as well. In subtraction, can I subtract with a smaller number? Can smaller number subtract a bigger number? No. Therefore, when I see my holes here, okay? So this 4 apparently is 8 holes, right? So this 4 that I have, the holes, okay? It is comprising of 4 times 8, right? 8, 8 holes, 8 holes and 8 holes. That is 4 times. I will take 1 of the 8, okay? And give it to this 4. So from here, I am picking up 8. Again, I repeat, how did I determine? With the help of the denominator that I have 
4 power. Okay, power of 4 times 8 with this one. So, 1 I am going to give here. That is 8 plus 4. Okay. So, this becomes 3. 8 plus 4 is 12 upon 8 minus 2 5 eighths. Okay. This is how this power of 4 eighths, I used one of it, that is my 8, and I gave it to 4 to make it rich, like we do in general subtraction. Since it has become rich, now I'm left with 1, 2, 3. So that is 3 holes, that is what I have got. Now, can my 12 minus 5? Yes. Therefore, I will go further, first to deal with the holes. So 3 minus 2, okay, is 1. 12 minus 5. 5 is 7 over 8. So that is how I get my answer. I repeat, I took the holes first. Okay, so 3 minus 2 is 1. 12 minus 5 is 7. This is how I got 1, 7 over 8. Let's look into the next question. Next question says, 7 holes, 1 third minus 2, 11 over 8. 12. Again here we will deal with the denominator. The biggest denominator is 12. Therefore this will also be 3 times 4 is 12. Our tables are the key as I say every time. Your tables are the key in order to do any majority of the operations in subtraction. Let's simplify it. So when I open it becomes 4 over 12 minus 2 11 over 12. So now if you see, again, what is my denominator here? 12. When I am looking at the fractions, my 4 cannot subtract 11. In order to make it powerful or in order to make it strong, one of the 7s, okay, out of the 7s, I will take 1 12th here, right? Because the denominator is 12, that is what the holes are comprising of. So I will take 12 plus 4. That is how I made it rich. Because I took 1 12 from here, this will become 6. 12 plus 4 is 16 over 12. Minus 2, 11 over 12. Okay. Now, I will easily subtract. Because first I saw my fraction 4 over 12 will not be able to subtract 11. Right. 4 cannot minus 11. So, I made it rich by taking the 12. Okay. Because the holes are 12. That is how I got 16. Now I can first deal with the whole. 6 minus 2 is 4. And then 16 minus 11. Okay. Is my 5 over 12. So this is how I answer or we can subtract. So both the methods, whichever is comfortable is what we can go for. My next question says 6 4 fifths minus 3 13 15. Okay. 13 over 15. Therefore, first I will check on my denominator, the first rule. Therefore, 5 times 3 is 15 and 4 times 3 is 12. Let's open the equation. So 6, 4 times 3 is 12 over 15 minus 3 holes, 13 over 15. I let it be the way it is. Now I will further check if my fraction can it subtract no since my fraction the number is smaller here therefore i will make it rich how will i make it rich is i will take my this six okay and my six will make it rich by giving it 15 more right because this time my denominator is 15 these six holes are of 15 right therefore 15 plus 12 is what I will do. Let's open it. So I have 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 plus 1 is 2, which becomes 27 over 15 minus 3 holes, 13 over 15. Sorry, since 6 gave the 15, this will become 5. I rectify again. Since the 6 has given one of the holes, so minus 1, therefore it becomes 5. Now we will deal with the holes. 5 minus 3 is 2 and 27 minus 13 is going to give me 
14 over 15, right? So this is how I get my answer. We can perform the subtraction in a rough column if you want, all right? So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4 and 2 minus 1 is 1. That is how I got 14 over 15. Let's look into the last question. That is 12 holes, 3 upon 7, minus 3 holes, 9 over 14. Therefore, I will first deal with my denominator. So I know 7 times 2 is 14 and 3 times 2 is my 6. So let's open it further or simplify it. So 12 holes, 3 times 2 is 6 over 14, minus 3, 9 over 14 okay now we know 6 cannot minus 9 I will give off one of the 14 as my denominator is 14 this time this becomes 11 so 14 plus 6 is 20 over 14 minus 3 holes 9 over 14 let's deal with the holes first so 11 minus 3 we know is 8 20 minus 9, it's a simple math. We have 11 over 14. So this is how in subtraction, this is the other method you can use. I hope you liked the video and both the methods that we have opted here. You can use any one which is convenient. Keep liking, keep subscribing. Thank you so much.